integrate dx over 1 plus sine x. Let's work through it. Solution. This is from one of the uh, MIT uh, Integration B qualifying uh, exams. I believe it's 2018. So the first thing you want to do is rewrite it and think of it as 1 over 1 plus sine x. And um, it doesn't seem like there's an obvious uh, u substitution. It would be really nice if it was like um, some type of identity with sine squared. Recall that cosine squared plus sine squared is equal to 1. So it'd be nice if we could use this identity. So what we do is we force it. Um, we multiply by 1 minus sine x over 1 minus sine x. And what that allows us to do is use the difference of squares formula to try to use uh, this identity up here. So in the numerator, we simply end up with 1 minus sine x. And in the denominator, we want to use the difference of squares formula. So recall if you have a plus b times a minus b, that's equal to a squared minus b squared, right? Good stuff. So this will be uh, 1 squared minus sine squared. Yep. And then we have our dx. All right, so if you look up here at this identity, okay, you see that cosine squared x is 1 minus sine squared x, right? If you subtract uh, the sine squared, you get 1 minus that. So this becomes 1 minus sine x. Then on the bottom, we get 1 minus sine squared. That's just cosine squared x. Beautiful stuff. All right, let's keep going. Um, so I guess we can break it up at this point. Let's try to do that. So this is equal to, so that should be 1 over cosine squared. So 1 over cosine squared. Then we have the minus sign, so minus, and then sine x over uh, cosine squared x. Then we have our parentheses, and then we have our dx. All right, let's see if we can rewrite this. So 1 over cosine is the secant function. So this will become secant squared x minus, and then sine over cosine squared, you want to think of it as sine x cosine x times 1 over cosine x. Well, you want to rewrite it this way, right? Cosine times cosine is cosine squared, so it looks all right. And then sine over cosine is tangent, and 1 over cosine is secant, right? So this ends up being tangent x, secant x, parentheses dx. This works out so, so beautifully, right? This is amazing. This is equal to... Now we have to integrate, so we ask ourselves, what's a function whose derivative is uh, secant squared? Well, tangent, right? The derivative of tangent is secant squared. And then what's a function whose derivative is secant tangent? Well, secant. So this is tangent minus secant plus our arbitrary constant of integration, capital C. I hope this video has been helpful. That's it.